Alright guys, I'm I'm back with another video, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to hide my ways, you know what I'm saying? I want to take my, my do-rag off. But today's video, today's video I really want to talk about starting 180s first, then going to 360s, like the benefits, why you should do that, that's the best way to do it. And I'm gonna tell you why, like give you like more information on it, because like you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I ain't gonna tell, I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? I might tell you a joke, but I ain't gonna tell you a lot, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you everything like that. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. I'm gonna tell y'all, like, why you should do 180s first, then you go with 360s, and everything like that. Because I got a lot of questions still about, like, 180s, like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all see me transition from 180 to 360, like, what's going on? Like, I personally still like 180 waves, like, I'm still a 180 wave fur, I would say. Like, I like 180 waves and everything like that. But the reason why you wanna start, Looking at the wrong thing, bro. I could probably keep going though. Let me keep going. I keep looking at the reason why you want to start going any ways first is because it's gonna be a lot easier, a lot smoother process, I should say. That would probably be the better word for it. The smoother the process is from going from 180 waves to 360 waves is such a better transition. Like as for me, I started, it wasn't really 180 wave videos. Out. My transition, I was just jump straight 360. And I think for the average person, especially the average high schooler or the middle schooler, that's a lot to understand. I feel like a lot of times like people give up because they don't see progress quickly because they don't understand the methods on how to get certain ways, like how to get them deep. They don't really know how to hack the system necessarily. So I think going from 180 waves to 360s is smoother because it's like you have less to worry about. So it just, you kind of can focus on the cut and then brushing the top, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't have to worry about messing up your forks, like your angles and everything like that. And it just makes more sense because you only have a top, you don't have to worry about the back. You can figure out what type of fade you want. And then once you get the process for your hair specifically, like if you're coarse hair, straight hair, medium hair, you can then understand how your hair works, products work best. And I think like the 360s, people get confused because it's just so much, bro. Like, you gotta worry about the crown, you gotta worry about like the size, the back, everything like that. And I think for a beginner, that can be a little too complex for beginners. So YouTubers, like back, like way videos, like way back, we just had to do it, you know what I'm saying? We just had to get with the program, you learn it, and then kind of go from there if we wanted to start a YouTube channel. But like, I feel like the transition from 180 to 360 is a lot easier, a lot smoother, because like, it's also to the fade. Like with 360 waves, you have to worry about like, the lower fade because you're worrying about the size. You focus on the side, you focus on the back, and focus on the top. So the fade also matters a lot too. So if you get the wrong type of fade, you cut progress. If you get the wrong type of cut, if your hair is too low, you lose all your waves, all that hard work is pretty much gone. And also your do-rag, like your hair can over curl, your hair can under curl, you know, it's just a lot more things that can go wrong. So 180 waves is a lot simpler. I get sometimes a little slack for it because everybody thinks they're just like easy or like they're just really, really simple. It's like no point in having them. But at the same time, it's like people don't really know how to do 360s that well either. So it's like they don't really have good waves in the first place to say 180s is worse or better than 360 waves. You know what I mean? It's like if you can't understand 360 waves, it's not going to be, uh, <laughs> it's not going to be a, a fun experience for you. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that for my subscribers, y'all know I do 180s and I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I stand up for the 180 waivers because that's just what I like. That's what I, I'm going to keep doing because that's just the, the best haircut for me personally. I want everybody to understand, like my viewers who watch my content, is that like you don't have to jump into 360 waves. Like you don't have to jump into like super complex brushing and everything like that. So you just want to smoothly do it. You know what I'm saying? Understand the methods first, understand the products first, understand what type of wave pattern and hair you have before you do all the complex things like that's just going to save you a lot of time because that's my main thing too i want y'all to see progress quick i want y'all to see progress fast i want good progress that lasts a longer time you know what i'm saying it's like once you understand the methods of 180s you can then transfer it to 360s and you're going to get better 360s in the process because you understand the mechanics behind it you know what i'm saying you understand your hair a lot better and you're working with it on a better uh, spectrum than just doing like jumping in 360s, you know what I'm saying? So that's my thing. I think also too, you see a lot of quicker progress in 180s 
So and that's why a lot of people like doing it too. It's just like as soon as you start brushing, as soon as you get the, the techniques down, where you do at, you're still you're gonna start seeing waves. It's gonna hype you up more. You know what I'm saying? Whether in like 360s, sometimes you know it, you can get discouraged because it's like you will see progress, already perfect wave patterns, everything like that. And you don't understand that the type of combs they were using. You don't understand really like the patterns, the the angles, and everything like that. So it's like. When you don't see the perfect pattern, not all, but some people do feel as though like, you know, their ways aren't good, you know what I'm saying? Or they don't understand how to take care of their hair. So there's more that comes to it than meets the eye, you know what I'm saying? Or I also deal with people who will buy a certain product or a certain, you know, do-rag and they expect to see progress like that, but it's really like it's work, you know what I'm saying? Even brush sessions, uh, people expect a certain type of brush and they're gonna get results, but it's like you really have to stay on it, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be consistent and you gotta brush, but also do the night routine, really have your morning routine, like stand up on that, because if not, your ways are gonna suffer, you know what I'm saying? You don't want somebody with better ways to take your, your girl, you know what I'm saying? You don't want somebody with better ways to take your friend, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta be on it. And then, you know, people notice if somebody's ways are better, like they're gonna notice like, okay, I'd rather, you know, either talk to this person or date this person because their, their ways are better. Obviously, it's more that comes to it, but your partner is also gonna realize your waves aren't that good. You know what I'm saying? So that is one thing. Like I feel like I I want my channel to understand is that like you can do. It's okay to start one of these. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to do one of these and understand it, and then work on the sides. You know what I'm saying? Then work on the back. It's just a lot easier. You don't have to stretch yourself out. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to worry about you know all that comes with it. Because I feel like sometimes too. People can be discouraged and people may not understand it and they're not taking the time out to learn it too. So like if you are impatient, one of your ways is for you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of guys just want progress super quick. They just want the, they want the ways to be in. They want to sleep one night, get it in, everything like that. Especially my straight hair waivers because it's like it takes longer. But you just got to be patient, man. You just got to get into it. And you got to work for like eight, ten weeks. A lot of people don't want to wait that long. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they kind of pick it up, put it down. And I mean, that's part of it. Everybody's gonna do it, but you just gotta be consistent on it. You know what I'm saying? Figure out a method that works for you. And um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Like, so that's something to think about uh, on, uh, when you're doing your wave process, when you're brushing it, is that, you know, one of the ways may be your route, you know what I'm saying? That might be your type fade that you like. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Think about that because I think that sometimes you slip under the rug because people don't understand what it is, but like, once you understand the transition of how easy it is, more people gonna jump on it. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna get it. So that's really, really why I make my videos, and that's really why I try to like keep y'all up to date on information, and everything like that, and keep and make sure I share it with you so you can understand it. You know. So yeah, that's the video. Hopefully you, you liked the video. Like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe for the content. You know I have more content, and uh, yeah, leave me any questions down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm done. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Getting kind of good at this, you know what I'm saying?